Diamond Dolls coming out soon to your local Kmart stores and the Blue Light Specials. Who knows? It'll be Donnie Mania once again on 104.5. Hey, you're a soldier. You're a tough guy, Donnie, baby. Oh, yeah. That's Soldier Love, Donnie Osmond. And uh, it's almost as good as uh, seeing Tom Jones make his wonderful comeback with Kiss. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Well, 4.5, the new Sunny FM is Oscar Osborne. I'm dressed for success. Black suit and white socks. What the girl here he is. Yeah. I thought the Bible boat stopped running. Hey, Stash, you're here. But anyhow. Wish we had more time, but we're out of time. I'm Oscar Oswald from KBZ with the post show with the four tops and four seasons. Wishing I could stay just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Oh, bye, George. Now if I could only find the door. I'm leaving fast as I can. Can you remember the movies of the 70s with the bell-bottom double knits and the gold chains with the shirts that were unbuttoned way down to, well, down to the navel anyway? Yeah, I used to wear them like that. I don't anymore, thank goodness. I'm Oscar Osbo, and this week on The Sounds of the 70s, we'll listen to the movie soundtracks and musicals. Well, just to name a few, Jesus Christ Superstar, Grease, FM, and of course, we can't forget, Saturday Night Fever, staying alive, staying alive. Sunday night, 8.05 till 10 on your variety stations, AM 850 and FM 95.3, KBZ. Well, when I heard this next song, I knew I had to go right out and buy a Chevy van. Too much fun to miss. Here's Sammy Johns from 1975 with his number five hit on the sound of the 70s. I gave I got my boogie shoes on. I don't know about you. I got my platforms on. They're, <laughs> they're tennis shoe platforms. They're pink. Just the right color. That's Casey and the Sunshine Band with Boogie Shoes, originally re released uh, as a B-side for, the, remember the song, Shake Your Booty? Yeah. But it was uh, brought back to life in 1978 on, of course, Saturday Night Fever soundtrack. You're listening to the sounds of the 70s. I'm Oscar Osbo, and back with more after this. From the 73 movie, Jesus Christ Superstar, that's Yvonne Elliman on the sounds of the 70s. Well, a movie that was, uh, well, kind of a underground movie, I guess it became kind of a cult favorite, I guess you could say, uh, was the movie Harold and Maud. And from that movie, uh, the soundtrack was done by the one and only Cat Stevens. I don't know about you, but that disco fever is just taking over my body. From 1975, here's Shirley and Company. Shame, 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 shame on you. Well, it's time for me to tell you something good. Here's Rufus from 1974 featuring Chuck Khan. It was a song written by Stevie Wonder, first uh, top 40 hits, and the biggest song by Rufus. It wasn't until 1984 until Chuck had another number three hit. It was I Feel For You, written by Prince. We'll also have a Prince tune coming your way, so keep it right here on the sound of the 70s. Well, this next story tells a story that you never underestimate the powers of a woman. Wait for that knock, knock, knock on the door. Here she comes in. The thin line between love and hate. Here's a Persuaders from 1971 on the sounds of the 70s. I'm going to teach you to fly. We've only tasted the wine. We're going to drain the cup dry <laughs> Wait till your charms are ripe For these arms to surround You think you've flown before But baby, you ain't left the ground Wait till you lock in my embrace Wait till I draw you near Wait till you see that sunshine place Ain't nothing like it here The best is yet to come And babe, won't it be fine The best is yet to come Come the day you're mine Come the day you're mine And you're gonna be mine Yes, the best is yet to come right here on Reminiscing. Kind of cool to talk to Patrick Shane Duncan. 
Well, I'm coming your way. Keep it here. Here's the Dewey's. And you keep me running. Don't 
need to escalate You see, war is not the answer For only love can hate. You know we've got to find a way To bring some love and get here today oh, Pick it light and pick it side Punish me Sister. with brutality Sister. Talk to me Sister. So you can see Marvin Gaye. Ay, 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 ay. What's going on? Reminiscing, I'm Oscar Osbo on Soft Rock 95.3. Now, if, if you're interested in the uh, Renaissance, uh, it goes on every year right around this time until September, and uh, uh, you got to talk to the Lord. The Lord, of course, uh, knows about the ladies. Okay, now, the, so, some of the ladies that uh, walk around uh, there seem to have some very low, low-cut uh, outfits. I guess that was the traditional outfit back then? Or in the, well, in the, in the Renaissance? And, uh, well, yes. We like to think of them as having long necks, you see. Ah, I see. Okay. They, their necks stick out so much further from their blouses, as it were. Uh-huh. Okay. There, there are a few of those sort of uh, uh, ladies who walk about <laughs> the village, yes. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. And, and I suppose they, they eat a whole turkey, uh, turkey uh, drumsticks, too, in the whole bed there? Well, of course. You know, uh-huh. over at the Watney's pub there, you speaking of eating and drinking and and low-cut dresses, as it were. Uh-huh. We have a brand-new show being sponsored there at uh, Watney's Pub called Fallen Women. Of course, there's a lovely ladyship and her silly serving maid uh, who uh, bear the beverages, as it were, about <laughs> Watney's Pub. Okay. It is a, a raucous reenactment of their fortunes fall throughout uh, the day at Watney's Pub. It is very amusing, and this is a brand-new show this year. Sounds like some fun. Here's Steven, love the one you're with. You're down and confused And you don't remember who you're talking to Concentration, slip away Because your baby is so far away Fly with the dark, and if you 
a girl right next to you And she's just waiting for something to do And there's a rose in the blistered love And the eagle flies with the dove And if you can't be with the one you love Honey, love the one you're with Love the one you're with Stephen Stills and Love the One You're With from 1971. We're reminiscing on Oscar Osbo. And, of course, talking with the Lord from the Renaissance Festival. Okay, now, is there any, any rumbles, or I should say rumbles, but is there any, any fights or anything that happened to break out maybe in the middle of the day there? Little well, well, of course. Our, our most exciting event is, of course, the, the royal joust that happens ah, three okay. times daily. And nowhere else in, in the... Uh, this North American continent, can you see full contact jousting that you will see here uh, with these fine knights of the, of the, um, uh, the, the royal castle, as it were. Okay. And, and they do ride quite well. Then, of course, across the other side, if you look way over there, assuming that you have that map in front of you, right. that we have a place called the Griffin Stage, and that is actually a ship in the middle of the forest here that has a brand new show in it as well. And here we have uh, uh, the pirateers looking to, um, as it were, loot uh, this new vessel that has come into the, the, uh, the kingdom. And uh, they're having quite a bit of difficulty, as it were. So that is full of sword play and daggers and swinging on ropes and, and all those lovely, lovely things that pirates do <laughs> so okay, well. All right. Just to, just to add to the excitement and the fun, right? Yes, there's, now, there's what, raucousness all over the kingdom. Now, what about, does anybody get to, to uh, partake in some of this stuff? I mean, do, do the people that come there, can they dress to the occasion, so to speak, and maybe uh, partake in some of these um, uh, activities besides just uh, watching? Well, I'm not quite sure what you're asking me, sir. Okay. I mean, are you asking, can the women come with low-cut blouses? No, 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 I wasn't... Oh. I, <laughs> I see. Oh, I, oh. I meant the, the, so the sword play and the, uh, and the other thing. Well, no, as a matter of fact, for the safety of all the patrons who come, we do, we do ask that all the patrons who come in the door to leave, leave their weapons, their swords and shields in their chariots, as it were, okay. before they come in so that we will not have anybody hurt. <laughs> but we do have interactive performances going all day long. Okay. So that if you would like to get on stage, as an example, you know... Uh, there's this uh, uh, just absolutely hilarious uh, character and his uh, young man. It's a show called The Dead Bob Show. And, and uh, he, he brings people on stage and bonks them over the head with great big clubs. And, oh. and the people just love him oh, for doing okay. it. All right, I it's, see. it's very interactive theater, as it were. So, so, so the wife or husband that uh, might not get along too well can actually come there and partake in that, right? Or, or put their spouse into that? Well, of course, that is, is a possibility. Now, uh -huh. if you're talking about uh, couples who come who are not getting along together, <laughs> we do have a jail system there oh, that okay. you can get some of our fine young sheriff's people 
to, say, lock the old man up in the jail or put him in the stocks for a while while <laughs> she could roam freely about the village without having to listen to his yakking or grumbling all day long. Ah, okay. So we, we have a little bit of something for everybody. Talk about your wild nights. Reminiscing. Soft Rock 95.3. 1971 once again. Here's the original. Ben Morrison. All the 
The Isley Brothers, twist and shout. Shake it up, baby. I talked to the uh, Renaissance uh, Festival and the Mr. Renaissance man himself, the lord of the festival. All right, all right. Now, okay, is there anything we, we missed? I, I, I think we pretty much well, covered everything. you know, we could probably talk all day long, as it were. But, you know, for those of uh, the people who are also hard of coin, as it were, uh-huh. we have new with us this year a coin minter. This is a gentleman who will actually press coins for you right in front of your face and watch the money be made just outside of the market square when you come in the door. Okay. And, uh, and speaking of money, as it were, there may be a few in your crowd there who wonders uh, what the admission price might be. That's a good question. Event. Good question. I'm glad you asked that question. Yes. <laughs> well, well, the general gate admission is 11.95 for adults, as it were, okay. and 5.95 for children. Now, if you get your tickets in advance by calling the festival office uh, or something like that, yeah, or, or, or any of the sponsoring number. places like Total Gasoline or Kroger's or, or what have you, then uh, you can get them for a little bit less, like ten fifty and five dollars, as it were. Okay. Now, keep in mind that gets you through the front door, and All you right. get to see well over forty different performances for absolutely nothing. That is, if you can get away without the entertainers begging money for you before you get ah, out of the door. Okay. But you can see so much and have so much fun for that very small amount of money. Okay, so nobody tackles anybody and says, give me your money before they go out the door? No, no, but <laughs> I will warn you that we have a new act this year down in the southwest corner of the event, and, and it's what we call very fondly the mud show, as it were. Uh-huh. It is sponsored by the hecklers of hysteria. It's uh, <laughs> sort of a show that is alms for the unclean, as it were. I see. These three performers, two women and a guy, uh, do their entire show in a 2,000-gallon mud tank, as it were. And I happened to catch the show myself just last weekend, and they explained the whole problem that Columbus had trying to tell Queen Isabella that, of course, the world is not flat. And, of course, every time he says that, he gets pushed into the mud vat, as it were. Okay. Uh, it is a very dirty show, as it were. <laughs> and if you sit too close to the stage, you're liable to get a few specks of mud all over you. But okay. it's great fun. We do have a, a washing well, a new washing well in the uh, uh, market square there, that if you get mud on you, we can just douse you into the washing well and clean okay. you off and send you on your merry way. Kind of like a Renaissance Gallagher festival. Yeah. Yes, as it were. Yeah, oh, yeah. say, okay. that Gallagher, he does have a fruit. You know, that's something that we do <laughs> not do is split fruit with axes out there, but okay. you've given us a good idea. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Any way you can just, well, okay. All right. All right. Well, that, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. So is it the 1-800 number is the number they can call, right? For uh, That is most true. Yes. Okay. So it's 1-800-601-4848. You've got the right number. Okay. And uh, that's actually a very, very good price. I mean, you know, considering the, the, the large area that they'll be going around and all the different events that... Uh, that you carry over there, that's uh, not bad. It, not bad for the pocketbook. And as if that was not a good enough deal, if you come in your own carriage, as it were, we will permit you to park that carriage for absolutely no fee whatsoever. Okay. So you can leave it there and come back and feel perfectly safe and sound and not oh. feel as though you've been drained. There you go, okay, because most places they charge you like what, about three bucks. Just to just to park, so. Well, it depends on where you are, but yes, I I would say at least three. three bucks yeah, three to three to six bucks. Yeah, exactly. Yes, right. Okay, yes. well, thank you, thank you, Lord, uh, for t- for talking with me here. Well, I, I appreciate that. And, it has uh, been my pleasure. And if you perchance have an opportunity to visit us, will you stop by and say ta ta to me? <laughs> sure. I, I would love to. Oh yeah, ta- sure. I would say ta ta. I think that would be a lovely moment for me if you uh, would. Okay, I'm sure it would be. Okay, I'll stop stop by to say ta ta. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Be speaking to you soon. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. Ta ta. <laughs> ta ta.
Once again, reminiscing, I'm Oscar Osbo. Going to be back with a uh, another hour. You never know what's coming up next. And I'm not going to tell you either because uh, we had so much fun this first hour. It's... <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not going to tell you. You just have to tap to check it out and tune in next hour. Right here at Soft Rock 95.3 WKVZ-FM, Whitehall, Muskegon.